Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back for some more 30 minutes mission stuff. Today we're going to be taking a look at here the Alto Flight Type Orange, which I've previously reviewed the blue version of, so don't really need to spend a whole lot of time reviewing this as it's basically just a color swap of that. But what I want to also include in this video is a review or just showing you guys some examples of how you can use the customized effect gunfire image version yellow. So some effect parts you can use with your 30 minutes mission stuff or with Gunpla stuff as well. So we'll take a look at this in use as well as the alto flight type now here in orange. And I gotta say it does look pretty spiffy in that orange and white color scheme. So let's get into it. So the box art here looking pretty cool with that cool new color scheme there for the alto flight type and an action scene here in the background with a few guys all flying around the city it looks like. Over here on the side of the box, you can see this number 26 in the line. On the top of the box, they're showing a customized plan, how you can make your own custom version by mixing and matching parts from different available 30 minutes missions kits. Going around here to the bottom of the box, here is just showing a kit that is not painted at all, so you can get a look at how it's gonna look just built straight up out of the box. Again, pretty small photo though, so you can't really see it too clearly. And then some action poses here, showing off some of the articulation of the torso, the hip section, how you can get it into some pretty awesome aerial action poses as we saw with the blue version, and some cool customized bits that you can do by moving around these wing bits and parts on the backpack and everything. And swap those around, you can turn those into some leg parts, which is actually not showing on the box art. Actually, those parts up there on the backpack can be swapped out to be legs, so it's not really showing that here, but you can do that with these, of course. And then with this kit, you can also just make a orange version of just the standard Alto as well by just not using those flight parts. So some cool things that you can do with this, of course. I really particularly enjoyed this kit when we took a look at the blue version. So inside here, we've got one, two, three, four bags of runners, actually. So a little bit more than your standard 30 Minutes Missions base kit. And then on the front of the manual here, once again, it's just the background image from the box art now in full color. So it looks pretty cool with them flying all over the city. And again, some information there about the story and then about the Alto flight type. You've got that in Japanese and in English and also the Roy Roy there as well. You will have a Roy Roy with this guy. And then on here, just once again, showing some different optional parts you can use to customize this, all the armor, weapons, parts, things like that. You can make something like that crazy thing there, or you can swap around joints using the shared joint structure of these kits. So they all share the same joint parts, so very easy to mix and match parts between different versions of the kit. You can mix and match colors with different versions of the same kit, and of course, customize that all to your heart's content. Now, as for the main chunk of the manual, it's all just going to be, well, we do have our parts list in there as well. But the rest of it is just gonna be general construction of this. So it's pretty straightforward. Let's just go ahead and take a look at the runners. So once again, we have the standard Alto sticker sheet here of numbers in black and white in small, medium, and large size font. PC7 for some polycap ball joints here. And runner is A and B are gonna be all the parts for making just the standard Alto. So on the A runner, you've got one clear red part over here for the visor and some light tan colored parts and then a bunch of orange parts. Then the B runner is the 30 minutes missions frame runner, which as usual is it just in a dark brown color. I shouldn't say as usual. There's a couple other versions where this is not in dark brown, but more often than not, here in dark brown like this. Then for the actual flight type parts, we've got runner UTA here in white. This would be the part like for the legs or the main kind of engine parts under the backpack. We got UTC1 and then C2, which is a copy of this half of the runner here, minus the new parts for the head, chest, and uh, parts for the center of the backpack, the main part of the backpack there. Once again, off the off. And then runner UTD here for the rifle parts and feet parts and a couple of the parts here in black for the flight type parts we're gonna be adding to this version of the Alto. So as I said, really enjoyed building this kit when I built it before, looking forward to building it again, and then trying some different customization options between the two versions and between other different versions. And that's the great thing about these, is you can just go wild with customizing and mixing and matching parts and all that. So let's get to it. I'm gonna get this built up first. But real quick, just before we do that, we'll go over just the packaging, what you get here included with the customized effects part as well. Here is the gunfire image version yellow. So it kind of shows you right here on the front where you're going to have included a stand, this kind of uh, shooting effect part, some beam effect parts, which looks like they're for like for beam sabers, it could be, or just for going in the barrel of the guns. You got these like ring effects to make it look like it's kind of like a laser firing, shoot, shooting out of there. Some other different effect parts and some other different connector parts on here, basically. Got a couple of examples showing you how you could use this so it looks like a kind of blast effect after being shot. It's kind of bursting out the side, out the back. And then some customized other samples back here just giving you some ideas how you can use this stuff. That's always useful. On these parts, I find that it's good when they give you some examples to go off of. So on the back side of that, we've got the instructions how to do this. It's pretty straightforward though. They're just kind of effect parts. There's not really much that needs to be actually put together. We've got that, you got the parts list on here. Let's just take a look at the actual runners. We've got two of them. This is CE2, which does seem to be in your standard beam saber effect type of material where it's a little bit softer. It's not quite like a polycap, but it's a softer material. So 
that is going to be the case for these as well just a heads up on that but i gotta say they do look pretty nice so you got some cool effects there and then uh, CE1 is going to be the stand, all the just normal clear parts they'll be using for connecting these onto the stand or connecting them onto other different things, so we'll use these here in a moment. Right, so here he is, and yeah, definitely looking very cool. Now for this kit, I won't spend a whole lot of time going through all the articulation and everything into all the details about what you can do with all the parts. Basically, what you see here is what you get with this kit, and I've already reviewed the, the blue version of this, so and then the articulation basically for all the 30 Minutes Missions kits is pretty much the same. So there's not really, really anything too much in particular or special to note about the articulation of this kit. It's good, just like the rest of them, and just like the articulation that I covered in the blue version of this kit. So if you want to see more details about that you can go back and check out that video but for now just want to show you guys a few different poses and things that you can do just with the auto flight type here on its own and then we'll go and check out the effect parts as well too but overall i do really like the auto flight type it's definitely a really cool design i really like how there's a lot of different stuff that you can do with it with just everything that you get in this kit without any other optional weapon sets or optional armor sets or anything like that you can do quite a bit with this which i do really like it's better than i think something like the rabiot or the seal nova which we previously took a look at which don't really come with a whole lot in terms of accessories and like you can't really customize the kit very much with what you have in the box with this kit you can actually do quite a bit with what you got in the box so i really like that about this kit but of course, if you did want to add something or subtract something or customize this in some way, there are plenty of different option packs that you can get for this. And of course, just kit bashing with other different main uh, mecha mobile suits. I still don't really know what to call them. Mo uh, uh, robots from the series, let's just say that. Mobile suits? Um... Yeah, units, I guess, is just kind of what they're referred to in the manual, as far as I can tell. So, all right. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the orange uh, Alto flight type. It's really cool. I like it quite a bit. But let's see what we can do with some of these effect parts. Ah, sorry, I suppose one other thing I should go over with you guys before we move on is the leftover parts that you have of just the regular Alto. So, for example, you've got the regular Alto face mask here, you've got the normal Alto feet and ankle armor that go above that, you've got the lower leg of the Alto here, you've also got the knee parts, the knee armor, you've got both of those, and you've got this part here, which is for the chest armor of the regular Alto as well. So all these, you could switch out on this kit and use some of these instead of that, or use these on a different kit for customizing in some way, if, say, if you you had the rabiot and you prefer these lower legs rather than the lower legs that come with that kit you can swap these out pretty easily so that's pretty cool and then of course you do also have the Roy Roy included in here also which is just the same as the regular alto and so that can also serve as a head if you just use this part on your mecha unit or you can just have this plugged onto somewhere with this hard point here also you have a female hard point there at the top so there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do to customize this little guy also all right, so with the effect parts here, we've got the stand here. There's a point of articulation down there, here, and here. Or you can get rid of one of these and just only have just like one of these bars if you don't need it to be quite so long, just use one of these. And the connection point at the top and bottom is the same. It's just the standard three millimeter peg hole. And you've got five different points where you can plug this into on the base. So you can move that around or plug multiples on to here if you wanted. Now, as far as these connection pieces go, you only get two of those. So you couldn't like separate this and have like one plugged into here and the other one plugged into over here for holding two effects at the same time because then you have nothing to actually hold on to the effects. Although these holes I guess maybe are the same size. Let me try this. Because we do have two of these like little L-shaped pieces. So I think maybe, let's see if we can plug this onto here. And then you've got this kind of T-shaped one over here. I guess we could plug onto that side. And let's see, plug this piece onto here with a flat connection end on that. And two of the effect parts have a point where you can plug that flat piece into it here, something like that. Then we combine a couple other of these connection pieces, plug them onto here like that. It's getting pretty weird. We can use this male to male clear part here to connect two of these effect parts together, something like that. And there you go, so I guess you could, by just uh, using a bunch of these different connectors, finally get those together so that it's making like a, an effect coming out two sides like that. So obviously you could be more creative in your use of it, but I'm just showing you, for example, if you wanted to have it looking like, for example, your one robot's being shot, you can have like the effect part out the front and then one out the back there as well. Now this is just a very loose example, obviously I'm not really putting much effort into that, but just to demonstrate to you guys what you can do with this anyway. Of course, we got the two different sizes of these effects, and you can see these can be plugged onto either, once again, this uh, flat peg, can be plugged into the back side there like that, or just right in the center of that here like so, or 
using that clear connection piece, you can plug one effect into that one so that it's looking like that. And then we've got our three different effect parts here. This one kind of like beam saber looking one has a kind of twisty effect to it. And these ones are just plain. You got this like shorter one here and then this much longer one, which is meant to look like a shooting effect. So let's just uh, go ahead and plug this one into here. So you can make an effect like that, looking like that's shooting, which does look pretty cool, I gotta say. So there you go, I mean, basically creating something like this sort of effect. Now, honestly, I don't usually like when the effect parts have to have their own stand. It just really takes away from the look for me, but I guess it all depends on how you're like photographing the kit or something. You can usually sometimes photograph it in a way where the stand is not so visible, and that looks a lot better, but, um, I don't know, I think you can find ways to make it work. And that said, you don't necessarily have to use the stand as some of these effect parts will just fit right into the weapon. So like this, for example, for the Seal Nova's pistol will fit into the end there. It's very tight, but I do just want to also try this because here we have, this is the weapon from the Rabiot. And in this case, you'll notice that it's actually too loose. It doesn't fit in there. So it's kind of strange or it's kind of a shame they didn't make all the weapon barrels all the same size so that uh, this one seems to be just a little bit too small but at least it fits in there but we do also have this optional part here as well this much more substantial one which is gonna look pretty crazy coming out of this little tiny beam uh, pistol there something like that but you get the idea it was gonna look pretty cool but overall yeah I mean it's a cool set for just a couple of bucks something to add to your order just something that you can have on hand to use for doing different stuff like this thing can be pretty cool for display uses if you're having a bunch of these kits on display on your shelf or something you can use some of these cool effects definitely or if you're making it into something more substantial like a full-on diorama or something like that these effect parts can be very handy sure so I would definitely recommend checking out uh, one of these sets I believe they're in a couple of different colors now but like I said, if you're going to be picking up one of these kits, you're probably going to want to get some option parts and things like that to go with them as well too. So this is definitely one that I would recommend you guys to check out, these option effect parts. And they can of course be used with Gunpla as well too, so I mean it's very useful. And for now that's going to be it guys, so thank you all so much for your support. Check out the link down below to USA Gundam Store, you can find all sorts of 30 minutes mission stuff there. And you can save 10% off everything on the website using my coupon code there, Zacharelius10. So check that in the video description there down below. And thank you all so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, all of that really means a lot. Greatly appreciate it guys. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye.